What is up, YouTube fam? Ah, uh, welcome every single one of you tuning into me, my brother or sister tuning into another one of my video blogs. In this video, we are going to talk about why you should stay the fuck away from muscle milk. Muscle milk is very toxic to our physiology. Don't get me wrong, it does help build muscle. But we want to pay attention to what it is doing to our brain, our physiology as a whole, you feel me? Muscle milk is full of shit and my intention behind this video is to educate us, inform us, and give us the knowledge behind what is in these products that are ultimately causing harm and detriment to our overall health, strength, vitality, longevity, and quality of life, you feel me? Some of you may be buying muscle milk products. Some of you may have never bought muscle milk products. Some of you at some point in your life may make a conscious effort to start consuming more protein in your diet. And so if you ever so choose to consciously consume more protein in your diet because you know how beneficial it is for health and longevity as a whole, you want to be aware of muscle milk and how the ingredients in these products are not good for our health, you feel me? Especially for those of us that are aware of our protein intake and starting to buy supplement forms of protein to meet our daily goals, you feel me? So with that said, those of you that aren't new to the channel, those of you that know how I love to do things around here, bring out your vape pens with your boy, bring out your pipes, your bubblers, your straight shooters, your steamrollers, your bongs, if your bongs, your rigs, if you love to dab it, steamrollers pre-rolls blunt joint what have you let me know down in the comments whatever it is you guys are smoking up on this monday wake and bake it is currently 9 40 a.m the time frame i am recording this video blog on and yeah those of you that are stoners with your boy let me know down in the comments what strain you're smoking up indica sativa hybrid and the name of your strain you know i want to know throw it down below what is your boy smoking up i'm smoking up and indica fucking strain you guys already know me all day every day before anything and everything i smoke up toke up choke up and get really fucking stoned you guys know what's up i'm puffing out of the plug and play as you guys can see throw it down in the comments if you're also puffing out of a plug play with your boy and like i said let me know indica sativa hybrid i want to know throw it down below king louis og i'm ready to take some dabs hopefully you guys are too and what we're gonna talk about i wrote a good two pages worth of notes that I am going to read to us, you feel me, to you guys. I do my homework almost every single day on health, nutrition, physiology, anatomy, spirituality, and almost any medical and health subject that I am interested in, which is all of it. Every day I'm always learning, progressing my state of intelligence, you feel me, my state of knowledge towards this field and subject of health and wellness you feel me so everything that i learn and know to be of great value and benefit for one's life everything that i implement in my life and know to be of value from personal experience all that i learn i synthesize into some entertaining education within these videos so that we all can learn what i learned because like i said if I've implemented what I've learned in my life and reaped some value from experience, then I know it works, you feel me? And I know when I make some content out of that information that I've implemented in my life and know to be of beneficial use, when I make content of that information, it serves me well. It makes me feel good, you feel me? I feel good making these videos because I know I'm giving out information that fucking works. You feel me? So with that said, that's enough of me rambling. If you guys are ready to take some dabs four minutes in, cheers the fuck to you. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, love, hate, comment, whatever. Subscribe if you have not yet. Interact with your boy. Shit. See, batteries on. Cheers, fam. First hit of the day, <coughs> first high of the day. <coughs> Fuck. The terpenes are always there. The flavor profile is always there on the plug plays. Shout out plug play. 
very good high quality fucking herb great way to start my mornings compared to some stimulating coffee you feel me i like to get my morning started with a nice walk in the sun producing vitamin d within my physiology right getting the sun on the skin i like to start my morning with a one mile walk in the sun smoking some herb maybe even every now and then consuming some four microgram micrograms micrograms yeah my no milligrams four milligrams of nicotine gum you feel me it's not a <coughs> very high dose but it's not a very low dose it's a good dose as to where your brain chemistry won't necessarily get addicted and it's enough to give you those neuro boosting benefits you feel me the focus the men the memory retainment etc nicotine has its own beneficial components and yeah some mornings i love to start it with a walk nicotine some herb not necessarily caffeine every day because it is a stimulant it stimulates and puts stress on our adrenal glands and if we chronically stimulate and put stress on our adrenal glands that leads to diseases and or illnesses that we don't want in life you feel me so getting sidetracked off one dab <coughs> cheers fam I guess, <coughs> whew, I guess what I was randomly saying is that <coughs> I start my morning every day with herb and it has no negative effect on my physiology, right? But I can't start every morning with coffee or nicotine because those are stimulants that put stress on our adrenal glands, which leads to, if it becomes a chronic thing, leads to many other illnesses that we don't want. You feel me? So yeah, that's another good piece of advice for you fucking caffeine heads out there <clears throat> take a week long hiatus break every month you feel me let your neurons your neuro <coughs> receptors fucking <coughs> what's the word replenish restabilize become homeostatic again you feel me if that makes any sense <coughs> all right two dads in you guys keep smoking your herb let me read what i'm gonna read to you guys on why I believe you guys should never consume muscle milk. <clears throat> Nothing against the people <coughs> in the corporation of muscle milk, just everything against the product and what's in the product. You feel me? So let's become aware of it. <clears throat> there is this ingredient in muscle milk called MSG, which stands for monosodium glutamate. And MSG is not necessarily labeled on the ingredients list within any muscle milk product. You feel me? Why is that? The FDA, I'm sure you guys know the FDA, right? The FDA approves a lot of things for our consumption. The FDA states that if a product has less than 99% of glutamate in it not glutamine i'm sorry if i said glutamine earlier it's not monosodium glutamine it's monosodium glutamate if a product the fda states that if a product has less than 99 percent glutamate that that ingredient doesn't have to be listed on the product i don't know why the fda approved that but muscle milk products have less than 99 percent glutamate so with that said, when you look at muscle milk products, they're not going to show on the ingredient list that it has MSG, which again stands for monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate, MSG, is a neurotoxin. MSG excites a neuron in our brain. Neurons in our brain have receptors for glutamate, right? <coughs> However, those our brain has the ability to stabilize the amount of glutamate that is absorbed into those receptors right however when we uh, when we consume more glutamate than necessary in our diet those res our brain loses the ability to regulate the amount of glutamate 
that is being put onto the receptors of these neurons that um, that take in glutamate, right? So, shit, I'm getting a little fucking faded, lost in my thoughts right here. Let me get on my fucking notes. I know I wrote this down somewhere. Um, so I said that MSG is a uh, neurotoxin, right? Right here I put, our brain is trying to keep glutamate in check. However, we've got all this glutamate. Let me backtrack a little bit. Certain neurons have a receptor for glutamate in our brain, right? That's what I was saying before I lost my train of thought. Fucking faded. Glutamate attaches on and excites the neuron so that these neurons can do what they're supposed to do. However, you don't want too much excitement going on in your brain. Our brains do a good job of keeping our glutamate levels in check because they don't want to get them too high and become excited. Our brain doesn't want to become excited. It's not supposed to be overworking. And so it, our, our brain itself does a good job of keeping glutamate levels in check, right? Food manufacturers have added MSG to our food in order to enhance the taste. So MSG is added to these products just for the taste to be enhanced, for us to want to go back and buy it again, you feel me? because we think this product is good compared to other products. That's just the money game. And we gotta become aware of that because it's starting to disrupt our health, vitality, and longevity. <coughs> our brain is trying to keep glutamate in check. However, we've got all this glutamate coming in through our food in the form of MSG. And all this glutamate is going to attach to the neuronal, to the neuronal glutamate receptors and, going, and it's going to keep them excited. That's why it is called an excitotoxin. MSG is called an excitotoxin because MSG at, attaches to the glutamate receptors, the, neuro, the neuronal receptors, and overwhelms them, overexcites them. When this happens, the neurons get excited, making it fire over and over and over and over again until it dies several hours later. It's killing brain cells. MSG is literally exciting our neurons so much so until it literally dies. It's killing brain cells. MSG kills brain cells. MSG is an excitotoxin, which is a neurotoxin. <clears throat> And muscle milk products contain MSG. Uh, like I said earlier, the FDA states that if an ingredient is less than 99% pure glutamate, then it doesn't have to be listed as monosodium glutamate on the label. So this is the reason why when you turn muscle milk products to the back and read the ingredient label, the ingredients list, you won't find MSG on that list. There are hidden ingredients because the FDA approves that, and that's some fucking bullshit, you feel me? FDA stands for, what did I put? Um, feeding death to Americans. It doesn't literally stand for that, but the fact that they approve things like this for ingredients to be hidden, not even listed on the labels for us to be aware of it, that makes me personally label FDA as feeding death to Americans because that literally is feeding death to the fucking brain. You feel me? Um, additives that always contain MSG are hydrolyzed vegetable protein, hydrolyzed protein, hydrolyzed plant protein, plant protein extract, sodium caseinate, calcium caseinate, yeast S yeast extract hydrolyzed gelatin hydrolyzed yeast hydrolyzed oat flour and the list goes on and on if you turn muscle milk products to their back they always say they they all have some form of hydrolyzed protein and hydrolyzed protein as i just mentioned has msg it's just another way of labeling the msg you feel me <coughs> not another form of labeling the msg Rather, those ingredients contain MSG. So all muscle milk proteins are hydrolyzed proteins. They all contain high MSG and it is killing our fucking brain cells. You feel me? Muscle milk. Stay the fuck away from it. If you are consuming it, 
if you have some drugs at your home throw it away and look for fucking sources that only have at least four or less ingredients you feel me you really essentially want to look for just where it says grass-fed whey isolate protein and maybe a little bit of minerals added you feel me you want it to literally just be the protein there shouldn't be anything else added other than maybe some vitamin c to preserve it some ascorbic acid but other than that that's what you want to look for and if you really start looking for that you'll notice that almost 90 to 95 percent maybe even more of the supplements on the market protein not just protein but a lot of supplements on the market are contaminated not contaminated but infused with msg products with msg ingredients which are not good for us so when you realize that you well if you really care about your your health like myself you start to throw away your fucking supplements and realize you've been wasting a lot of fucking money and you start to look for the right proper sources that have whole ingredients you feel me so that's some good stuff to learn um another real quick last fucking bullet point that i wrote is muscle milk contains genetically modified vegetable oils canola oil cottonseed oil which are all tearing up your arteries um, vegetable oils are high in omega-6 fatty acids which is linoleic acid and that has been shown to raise inflammation in the body and cause arterial plaque buildup in combination with AGEs which are advanced glycation end products which is a result of chronically elevated blood sugar levels so a combination of omega-6 fatty acids with high blood sugar levels just creates arterial plaque in the arteries so muscle milk contains those fucking unhealthy fats those unhealthy vegetable oils another reason to stay away from it um yeah like i said muscle milk in the beginning of this video it does build our muscles you will if you're consuming it you will see you, your body putting on size however that's not what you really want to pay attention to when it comes down to purchasing any product for your physiological development and overall health you feel me what we really want to be looking at within products is what are these ingredients going to do to my brain to my overall physiological functions that are sustaining my existence here now and in the future i'm um, don't just look at what the product offers on the label but uh, like in the front label but rather turn it around and see what every ingredient offers that's what we have to <coughs> become more aware of you feel me and so yeah 18 almost fucking 20 minutes in on this video it's a long one but it's a good educational one if you guys stood around this long and got some valuable information out of it let me know down in the comments or let me know in the discord join the discord if you have not yet the discord server I'll leave the information of that and my podcast, which I go into more detail and depth of health subjects. The information to my podcast and Discord will be in the description of this video. Go check it out. Go join it. And yeah, let's close out with a dab. Stay the fuck away from muscle milk or don't. It's up to you. However, it's good to be aware of this knowledge. You feel me? To make a much more intelligent decision. Cheers, fam. That is going to be it for this video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs down. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a love comment. <clears throat> and as always, make sure to live your fucking truth. Because living your truth is being of service to someone somewhere out there. And I truthfully believe we all came here to live a purposeful, meaningful, valuable fucking life at this time. You feel me? Living that valuable life is just being yourself, doing your own thing, but being productive with your fucking self and creating something in the world that is of service to others. You feel me? Have a good rest of your fucking day. Good rest of your night, whatever time frame you're watching this at. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Deuces.